hey guys welcome to it device today in this video i'm gonna share with you guys a very nice trick on your nokia 5.1 plus so on this phone you can remove the navigation keys completely and replace these keys with the swipe based gestures so to do this trick you will need uh, two things one your phone and other thing your laptop or maybe system <coughs> so it it will be done in three steps first you have to install a application then you install a adb driver and th third one is you have to just do a small setup using the powershell so let's start the first step just download one app called fluid navigation on your phone as you can see on screen i have already installed it but you just have to install this app it's a very small app so go ahead and install this app So as you can see on screen, I have already installed this, it's called Fluid NG and once you open it, just click done and click on the grant button and allow the display other options, other apps option. You have to go back and grant one more time. yep so there you go so once you come to this accessibility option just look for the fluid navigation gestures and swipe, swipe it to make it on and once you switch it on just go to settings menu and you have to enable this app so once you enable this app you will see another option hide navigation bar which is disabled right now to make it enable you have to go to the windows powershell uh, using which you will be able to run a command and this option will be enabled So let me first show you how these five days gestures works If you see there's a gesture visible from bottom to up they, These all swipe gestures are customizable from bottom to up from left to right and from right to left everything is customizable so we will show you how to do this customization later on so let's go ahead and do the rest of the steps to do it you have to go to developer options you have to first enable the developer options and make the uh, usb debugging enabled so let's go to the phone setup and click on build number five times so once you click on build number five times the developer options will be enabled so as you can see there is a developer options you have to open the developer options and enable these developer options so once you enable it you have to scroll down and switch on this usb debugging that's it everything is done on the phone now let's uh, switch to the laptop or system and do the last step now on your system there is a file that you have to download called adb setup i'll put the link to download this file in the description box below go ahead and download it and once you download it just click uh, just say, do a double click on this file so hit y and hit enter keep entering y for every option and enter it will start installing the adb driver there you go click next and just follow the instructions click on install it will install the adb driver on your system so that it can recognize the your nokia phones software and do the command that's it now we have to open the windows powershell just enter powershell in the search bar so there is a command that you have to enter or maybe you have to copy and paste i'll put the command in the description box below this is the command that you have to copy and paste here you just copy the command from the description and paste it in in your powershell and hit enter and that's it 
our setup part is done now let's go back to the phone and disable the keys so to do that again we have to go, there, go to the application now as you can see there this option is enabled high navigation bar so once I click on this button navigation keys will be disabled if you just click I understand on the only message so as you can see now navigation keys are gone let me do it one more time there you go now as you can see navigation keys are gone and you will look very clean without the keys so that's it guys and now let me show you some gestures if you swipe from bottom to up very long it will open the recent keys if you swipe very minimalistic it will go back to the home page if you swipe from left to right it will again open some app and these all options are customizable if you go to the application and do all the customization you can even set these gestures to open a particular application so that's it guys from this video if you like this video hit like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you very much see you in the next bye bye